they always bring good goodies for us. They, they've done a good job and they have a great opportunity for us. And, uh, Glenn, take it over. Here's Discover, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. And I didn't get a raffle ticket. I was sitting down. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Glenn Kaus, I'm a market executive uh, with Discover. I have been with the company uh, for almost six years now, and I'm responsible for the Miami Direct Marketing Association, which covers Miami, Broward County, and the Keys. It's a pleasure for us to be here uh, with you at the Cool Car Sales Conference. I'll be speaking to you, to you today about resources and support that we provide to acquirers, ISOs, and bars throughout the U.S. I will also share with you some great information about Discover that is important for every merchant to know. Our goal today is for you to get you to think about Discover in a different way, as a business partner, and also to get your merchants to think about you and Discover differently. Additionally, I will be sharing with you some uh, a brief history of our company, uh, Discover updates regarding our growth, and also our car brands, and then we'll just wrap up by discussing some sales tools uh, that will help support your sales efforts. So we'll get started. Um, do I have a clicker, Jenny? Yeah, there should be one up there. I didn't see it. This one? Right there. Oh, there okay, which is uh, for the next part? Okay, this is uh, to move forward? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't work for me now when I can get it from here. All right, so the score Financial Services was established in 1986 as the first credit card ever to offer a cashback bonus and also zero annual fee, something that was unheard of at the time and that helped us gain one of the most loyal customer bases in the industry. We are the creators of the cashback concept. Discover Financial Services is a publicly traded company. It is traded under the symbol DFS in the New York Stock Exchange. And our company is divided into two segments, basically. We have on one side, direct <laughs> banking. Uh, on the direct banking side, uh, we have our own bank. We are the sixth largest issuer in the U.S. with 58 billion in card receivables. One in four households in the U.S. has a Discover card. And to this day, we still have the leading cash rewards program. We also offer direct consumer deposits. We offer personal loans, private loans, and home equity loans as well. And recently, we introduced cashback check. The first bank ever to do this. We offer our customers, our customers that have checking accounts, cash back for writing checks, and also for using their debit card for the debit transactions. On the other side, we have payment services. We are an insurer, and at the same time, we have our own network. Discover Global Network with over 10 alliances. We'll talk a little bit more about those uh, on the next slides. We own Pulse, a leading uh, debit processor and ATM network in the US. And last but not least, uh, we also acquired the Diners Club International Network in 2008 from Citibank, which has helped us expand globally to over 185 countries and territories. If you're not familiar with Diners Club, it was the first credit card ever. It was established in 1950. Uh, but we don't own the actual issue inside of the business. We only own uh, the Diners Club International Network. There are 80 independent franchises that uh, issue Diners Club International globally. Nice. Okay, so we are now officially the third largest payments network in the world. It used to be Visa, MasterCard, and Amex. Now it's Visa, MasterCard, Discover Global Network, and in fourth place, American Express. And this is not just us saying this. This has been determined by uh, independent analysts, independent firms out there. Uh, we have gone from being a domestic-only network to an international network. We have grown from 7 billion in volume in 2004 to over 300 billion in volume uh, right now, so today. We're operating in 185 countries and territories with access to more than 1.5 million ATMs globally and over 35 million merchant locations accepting cars. Here's a timeline that shows uh, a little bit more detail how we've been able to accomplish all of this success. Again, we were established in 1986 uh, by Dean Witter uh, Financial Services Group, which was part of Sears at the time. Uh, we still uh, sometimes get someone that thinks that we're owned by Sears, but that is not the case. We've been an independent company now uh, 
uh, for quite some time. In the beginning, this cover was a regional card. It was accepted in the US, Canada, uh, Mexico, and the Caribbean. But then we started working diligently to try to expand our um, international acceptance footprint. So we did this by creating uh, reciprocal agreements with other international networks, reciprocal acceptance agreements with other international networks. In 2005, we signed a strategic alliance with Union Pay. Union Pay is the largest car network in China with over 2.4 billion cars. And how does this work? So if any uh, tourist or business traveler from China comes with a China Union Pay here to the US, they can use their card wherever this card is accepted. And vice versa, if we travel to China with a Discover card, we can use it wherever Union Pay is accepted over there. So if you're a card member, you can go with your family in China and use your Discover card over there. In 2006, we signed the same type of agreement with JCP from Japan. JCP has uh, over 64 million card holders worldwide one of the largest groups of overseas travelers to the U.S. and it works the same way. A Japanese tourist or a business uh, traveler comes to the U.S., they can use a JCB card and we can go to uh, Japan as well with a Discover card and use it there. In 2008, we acquired the Diners Club International Network which increased our acceptance footprint tremendously to over 185 countries and territories. Any Diners Club International member, let's say for example from South America, they can come here now to the US and they can use their card. Or they can go to the Caribbean and go to Mexico and use their Diamonds Club International card wherever the uh, Discover is accepted. In 2010, we signed an agreement with BC Card from South Korea. In 2012, another one with Rupay from, uh, from India, and so on, uh, etc. So you may be asking yourself, uh, how does this information benefit? Uh, what's in it for me? Well, knowing about all of these agreements can give you a competitive advantage. If you have merchants in your portfolio that are located in tourist areas and key destinations, areas where it makes sense to have a conversation with this type of merchants, then you want to train them on all these brands. Because that could mean more volume for you, more residuals, and obviously more revenues for your merchants as well. We just signed a deal with Ilo, uh, Ilo Car from Brazil, and I saw recent that it's not even here on the timeline, but um, we have tons of Brazilian tourists that come here to the U.S. and they come here to, to Miami, Orlando, New York, you name it. And now they're going to be able to bring their Edo card and use it here wherever this cover is accepted. This is something that you're probably very familiar with. Uh, the power of one is what we call it, the strength of one. Since 2006, we changed our acquiring model, so we're no longer a separate product. All these and MasterCard Discover transactions are combined into one single statement. The pricing is so competitive that everything gets bundled up and there's only one point of contact, Q. But believe it or not, there are some merchants out there who are still not aware about this change, about this new model. So it really is a good idea to go over with, it, with them this information uh, just in case when you send them out. Okay, even though we have uh, made it simpler to accept us, uh, you may still find a merchant that does not see the benefit. You may come across uh, that business owner that whose cousin was rejected 15 years ago when he applied for a Discover card, and that's why he does not accept Discover. Believe me, we have seen you know uh, bogus excuses like that. So if you have a situation like this, a merchant that is reluctant to accept, uh, uh, you, you can share with them some great statistics. Knowing the statistics can help you increase volume across your portfolio. And they're not discover centric. These are the statistics about uh, rewards cards in general. For example, 75% of households have a rewards card. That's a very powerful statistic. That's three quarters of all houses in the US. 92% of consumers with rewards card use it as a primary card. So if these merchants are not accepting this type of cards, they'll be missing out on sales. They spend more than double on average than those with non-rewards cards. I'll share with you a statistic that is more specific to Discover. 25% spend less, shop elsewhere, or do not make the purchase at all when their card is rejected. Many of these card members, when they get rejected, they don't come back to that merchant location. So we have really nice brochures that have all of this information that you can share with your merchants or your new sales reps absolutely free and I'll 
go over um, this information with you in the next slides. And here are some uh, common objections that we get uh, from some merchants. It's too complicated to update terminals. It's not true. In many cases, the terminal is already set up to accept this cover. The fees are too high. Not true. Our pricing is equivalent to a comparable Visa MasterCard product. We're now issuing debit as well. Our debit program is growing tremendously and it, it costs less to process debit. This is a big one. Uh, not accepting this cover does not hurt my business. And uh, we get this sometimes. But really, I'm going to share with you a story just to put things into perspective. Right. Picture this. Picture a guy that has been uh, really unfortunate in the law department. And <laughs> after a year of trying and trying, he finally gets a date. And he's got a really hot date. By his standards, this girl is really pretty. And he just got a new Discover card. Right? So he decides to take this girl to a really nice restaurant. When he gets there, <coughs> no, they don't accept Discover. This guy was going to go all out. I mean, he really needed to impress. But instead, he had to use his debit card and living paycheck to paycheck, he ends up looking cheap. So how do you think his Yelp review is going to look like? <laughs> I'm just going to more interact right now real quick. One minute. How do you think the Yelp review is going to look like? Anybody want to share? Bad? Horrible? Well, it depends, right? I mean, if he miraculously gets a second date, you know, he'll love the restaurant, he'll love the waiter, he'll love Wednesday, you know, more than any other day of the week, you know, if it wasn't a Wednesday, he'll start wearing the same shirt every day. <laughs> but uh, if it doesn't happen and, and he doesn't get that second date, then he may not act in a rational way because people are like that. They get rejected, they get mad, and they don't think straight. So it does happen, and it can affect their business. 31% of Discover, Discover primary card members have a lower opinion of a merchant when they get rejected. Nowadays, you have everything. You have TripAdvisor, Yelp. So it definitely can affect or hurt their business. Next one, yeah. Our card members lower products. Uh, many of the competitors out there, they, they say that they have the best rewards program, but we have actually proof. I don't know if you're familiar with the Brand Keys Award. <coughs> Just in case if you're not familiar with that, I'm going to tell you a little bit what it is. It's an award given out annually uh, to different companies in different industries. For example, McDonald's has won it several times uh, in the fast food industry category for customer satisfaction and customer loyalty. This company has won the Brand Keys Award 20 years in a row now. 20 years. And we just uh, won now uh, J.D. Power & Associates, highest in customer satisfaction by J.D. Power & Associates now three years in a row. It says two, day, two years there, but it hasn't been updated. We just won this year, so three years in a row. Next one. One of the reasons our car members love uh, Discover is the 5% cash back program. You're probably very familiar with this. Uh, maybe you even a, a car member yourself. We offer 5% cash back to our our customers and it rotates every every year, every quarter. Um, they tend to change over time, but right now usually it's gas in the first quarter, <coughs> in the second quarter, and online shopping during the holiday season. And this is something that we uh, give to our customers, but it's also something that benefits you because it's another way our marketing department drives the rental sales volume to your merchant location. So Discover rewards their customers, and now Discover would like to reward you, the seller representatives. So if you could please take a few seconds, if you're not registered for this program, if you're not familiar with this program, it's uh, discoverrewardsprogram.com, and on this website, uh, you can, you're can you gonna be getting uh, two free test scores, okay? And you're gonna be get earning points just for discussing Discover, acceptance, placing signings, validating terminal connectivity within the first 90 days of registering merchants. So that's what you'll be getting. Just two test cards, it's very simple, and if you're already setting up merchants uh, on, on a monthly basis, it is a very, very generous program. The feedback that we're getting from reps, it is great. And if you don't participate in this program, you could be leaving on the table anywhere from $1,400 to over $2,000 a year. I mean, it varies, obviously, depending on how many merchants you set up on a monthly basis or annually, but it is a very, very um, generous program. We're going to be uh, signing up people over here during the conference, so if you have time, 
just uh, pass by our table and we'll help you. It's very simple and it's something that you're already there, you're already doing your, your, your merchant setup and it's something extra that you can get. Okay, next one. Another way that Discover supports you is by offering a large variety of free signage and supplies. You can get great brochures packed with information. Uh, this is a great resource for you before and after the point of merchant acquisition. You can use this uh, to close a deal or just as a simple thank you or to enhance the assistant relationship that you have with your merchants. So if you haven't signed up, sign up uh, at discoverscience.com. It's very easy and do it as an ISO or a choir because that way they give you more, uh, a lot more um, materials because if you sign up in a, another way as a, as a merchant, you're going to get limited uh, quantities. And again, we'll be helping everyone uh, if you need help. Okay. Original Discover representatives are available in the cities that are noted here. Uh, we provide access to special events, uh, great sporting events, free signage and supplies, and market support. This is a program that we call, uh, it's called All in a City Program. So please get in contact with us, uh, reach out uh, to a Discover representative nearest you. I don't know if you can see here, I don't think it's very clear, so I'm going to give you um, the email of the manager of the ONA, ONA City program is Kim Das, that's for double S at Discover. So if you want to get in contact with your uh, rep, your Discover rep near you, you can send her an email and she will get you in contact. Uh, we can provide you with lunch and learns for free on us, on Discover, um, for, for, for your new uh, sales rep support. And uh, if you have any questions uh, about Discover, or if you want a copy of this presentation, just uh, swim by our table and I uh, will email it to you. That's it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.